currently seated on Ergotune's latest locally designed chair. Well, obviously it's not this box, but the chair is just right inside. If you are someone like me that spends way too many hours seated at your desk, this might just be something that excites you. If you are considering getting the best B, or would just like to take a first look at how the chair looks like, do continue to watch on as I'll be sharing with you all the features that you need to know. Before I start, I would like to thank Ergotune for sending me this Vesby chair and this video isn't sponsored at all. So everything that you're hearing from me today would be of my own thoughts. So without further ado, let's just get down to unboxing it and assembling it. Pretas não saem do lugar quando cor no inglês ter que ir pro xadrez. Now that we are done building the Vespi, let me just share with you guys my assembly experience. As I unbox the chair, I would say I'm pretty impressed with how easy it was. It comes mostly pre-assembled, which means less time wrestling with confusing instructions and more time to just enjoy the chair. Everything that you need is just right there, super convenient, and it comes with that large instruction sheet. When you first look at the Vespi, it's clear that it's just more than just another ergonomic chair. It's designed not only to fit you physically, but also to fit your personality, which is why Ergotune also offers it in several color options. The one I have right here is a striking coral red, but the other colors look amazing too. They have also introduced these innovative plug and play design elements called poppets, which I have on the side of the chest right here. But these poppets are not just functional, but it allows you to showcase a bit of your unique style. So now let's just talk more about the aesthetics of the chair. The Vespi doesn't just blend into any office or gaming setup, it actually stands out. When you take a closer look, you'll notice that the design of the Vespi is on par with some high-end brands and this is a chair that resonates with those who are very particular about their aesthetic. The structure of the chair is pretty bold without being too in your face and there's a seamless uniform look from the mesh all the way down to the frame colour. The fabric of this chair is made out of this Duraviv Mesh 2.0 material which has a higher thread count than the Ergotone Supreme so what this means is that it's a lot softer while still allowing you to feel cool throughout the day and it's breathable so this I would say is pretty perfect for a tropical country like Singapore. Alright, let's dive into the details. I'm going to be breaking down the key features of the Vespi that you absolutely need to know. The Vespi chair utilizes this body adaptive technology which integrates 14 data sync points, but in simpler terms, it just means that nearly every aspect of this chair is designed to adjust to your body. Whether it's the headrest, backrest, lumbar support, armrest, or seat pen, everything is customizable to give you a perfect fit. Instead of just talking about it, let me show you how it all works. We'll start from the bottom of the chair and work our way up so you can exactly see how this chair adapts to you, ensuring that comfort feels natural. 
The first adjustment on the Vest B would be the standard height adjustment on the chair. This is controlled by the first lever on the control lever hub, closest to the edge of the seat pan. Simply place your weight on the seat and pull the seat height lever upwards. So to get into an ideal position, ensure that your knees are 90 degrees and feet flat on the ground. Right next to the first lever, it's one of my favourite adjustments on the Vest B and it's none other than the seat depth. This is a great feature that I've always loved, similar to the Ergotin Supreme as it allows for adjustments to fit different heights and body types. And so this feature allows you to shift how deeply you are seated on the Vest B. The back of your knees should be about 2-3 to three fingers width away from the seat pan's edge. Moving on to the body of the chair, there are two different height adjustment points, one for the backrest and the other is for your lumbar support. There are six different height adjustment levels for the backrest and you should adjust the backrest to align it with your spine. You can do so by gripping the side of the backrest and raising it upwards. The other newer feature of the VSB is the Smart Flex Lumbar Support. This lumbar support feature is auto-adjusting and it moves into position when you are seated back on it. It is fine-tuned to help eliminate lower back pain and this is supposed to give you the support that you need for your back. There are four lumbar height settings which you can adjust by gripping the side and pulling it upwards and your lower back's curve should fit snug against it. Not forgetting that you can also adjust the tension of the lumbar support by turning the knob located just right behind it. You can increase or reduce the resistance against the lumbar as you require. In my opinion, this is definitely a step up from the Ergotun Supreme as there's more customizable functions to help support your lumbar. I do particularly like how there's a separate lumbar height adjustment feature from the backrest as it allows for more personalization and customization to your needs. Next up, the Vespi allows for seat recline tension adjustments where it allows you to adjust the backrest's resistance when you lean against it. To find the ideal recline position, you should not feel like the backrest is actively resisting your attempts to lean back, neither should you sink into your chair too quickly. After setting your recline adjustments, don't forget that you can lock and unlock the seat recline function with the middle lever on the lever control hub. This allows you to easily switch up between sitting upright to fully reclining your chair suited for various situations. With the Vest B, it also comes with a new sink tilt armrest feature that is an improvement from the Ergotin Supreme. Take a look at how the armrest tilts simultaneously with the backrest for continuous arm support while I'm in a reclined position. Likewise, the armrest height adjustment is pretty straightforward by pressing the button on the side. Ensure that the armrest sits level with the tabletop and when needed, you can also adjust the armrest angle where it allows for a 360 degrees pivoting to suit all your needs. You can angle the armrest inwards when you need more support for your elbow and arms while using your phone or straighten it out when you're typing on your keyboard at your desk. You can also lengthen and shorten the armrest when required. Finally, on the top of the chair, we have the last adjustment feature which is none other than the headrest. This is adjustable three ways to fit your needs and it covers the height, depth and angle. Simply hold either side to adjust the height and angle and with a push of the button, you can adjust the depth. Just don't forget that the neck rest should brace the whole height of your neck and lower half of your head. Now going into the fun bit of the Best B where you get to showcase a little bit of your personality, Ergotun has just released a removable plug and play design element around your chair to express yourself. There's over 300 designs of these puppets which you see right here and they are created by their own in-house team or artists that Ergotun has collaborated with. So for example, right here, you have the different teams at work, marketing team, legal team, and right on the chair right here, you can also see that I have a finance team at the side. Let me just give you a use case example. Imagine you are at work in such a big office and you have no idea where different departments are being seated at. Now with these pop -its, you can just pop this on your chair and your colleagues will immediately know which team you belong to. You can let your colleagues know that you are currently available which is right here for example and likewise you can also let them know that you are busy so this is kind of like a fun way of letting your colleagues know whether you want to be disturbed or not so going beyond just using it for work purposes Ergotun has also collaborated with many different artists and here we have Ben's Room who designs really cute animal arts if you are a cat lover you can put this down on your chair and it might just be a conversation opener I think this is a really cool concept from Ergotun and I do see the practicality of it. 
In my opinion, the functional aspects of the Vespi matches up to its aesthetics. The chair feels really comfy to sit on, and being an avid user of the Ergotun Supreme, this feels like a step up in terms of its look and comfort. This chair currently retails for $899 Singapore dollars in the Ergotun's website, and yeah, I know it's not exactly the cheapest option out there. But here's the thing, you get what you pay for. It's an investment in your comfort, especially if you are sitting long hours at your desk. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I recommend you to check out their website for more information. There is also an affiliate link that I hope that you guys can help support me by clicking on it if you like to make any purchases. It does not cost you a single cent, and it goes a long way in helping me create more videos like this. If you guys have any questions regarding the Vespi, bee, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I hope that this video helps answer some of the questions you guys might have about the chair. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that a lot and I will see you guys on the next one.